Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will explain another example on Laplace transformation. See the statement. Find the Laplace transform of the function f of t is equal to, here f of t is defined as modulus of t minus 1 plus modulus of t plus 1 for t greater than 0. So, whenever given function f of t has modulus of some terms, then it is said to be a discontinuous function. It may be a piecewise continuous function. Okay. So, first of all, we have to see what is, uh, what is the value of modulus of t minus 1 and what is the value of modulus of t plus 1. For this, already we know that modulus of x minus a. So, according to mod x definition, I am writing modulus of x minus a definition. It would be minus of x minus a if x value is particularly less than a. If x value is less than a, a is any number. If x value is less than a, then entire modulus of x minus a becomes minus of x minus a. Suppose if x value is greater than a, then this modulus value becomes positive of x minus a. This is the definition of modulus of x minus a. Now we have to compare each modulus value with this one. So modulus of t minus 1, here a is equal to 1, it would be minus of t minus 1 if t value is less than 1 okay and uh, this is positive of t minus 1 if t value is greater than 1 in the similar way we have to write that what is modulus of t plus 1 also modulus of t plus 1 is equal to minus of t plus 1 do not forget it if you compare t plus 1 with a x minus a a would be minus 1 do not forget it so if t value is less than minus 1 okay and a similar way this modulus becomes positive of t plus 1 if t is greater than minus 1 okay now here we have to find out this entire summation of both parts in two cases case 1 and case 2. So, in case 1 we have to take 0 is less than t is less than 1. Okay. Another case is t is greater than 1 that is why because here the constant is only 1 that is why uh, if t values lies 0 to 1 then what, what is modulus of t minus 1? See this. Here t is less than 1. So, it is minus of t minus 1. So, it is minus t minus of minus plus 1. And what is modulus of t plus 1? Here t value is greater than the 0. So, for t greater than 0, always modulus of t plus 1 is only t plus 1. So, what is f of t? f of t means summation of these both parts. So, minus t plus 1 plus t plus 1, minus t plus t gets cancelled, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, finally, f of t value is 2 for 0 is less than t is less than 1. In this range, function of t, this entire function becomes 2 only. Now, we have to calculate f of t if t is greater than 1. So, in this range, modulus of t minus 1, here t is greater than 1 means, see this one. If t is greater than 1, then what is modulus of t minus 1? Positive of t minus 1. And also, what is modulus of t plus 1? Since t is greater than 1, it is also greater than 0. It would be t plus 1. So, in both parts, modulus of t plus 1 becomes only t plus 1. Do not forget it. So, we have to add this both parts in, the range, in this range. So, f of t becomes t minus 1, t minus 1 plus t plus 1. This time plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled, you will get only 2t. So, we are observing that f of t is equal to f of t is equal to 2t for t greater than what is the sum for second case for t is greater than 1 okay 
so finally we have to redefine the function f of t in the range 0 to 1 and in the range 1 to infinity ok c so f of t can be written as given function f of t can be rewritten as f of t is equal to 2 for 0 is less than t is less than 1 and it is 2t for t is greater than 1. In this way, we have to redefine the given function which is in modulus terms to this type. Okay, now you can easily evaluate the Laplace transformation of this function by using definition. Okay, this problem is very very important. Most of the state universities, deemed universities, and many affiliated colleges are given this problem in the end of the examinations. That's why don't leave this problem. This is very very important. So, by definition of Laplace transformation, we know that. L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. This is the definition of Laplace transformation. Okay. So, here f of t is undefined directly in the range 0 to infinity. Our function f of t is defined for 0 to 1 range only. After that, t is greater than 1 value. So, that is why separate the terms otherwise divide the integration 0 to infinity as 0 to 1 plus 1 to infinity before saying this problem please watch the previous video so l of f of t is equal to integral 0 to 1 e power minus st in the range 0 to 1 f of t is defined as only 2 dt plus integral 1 to infinity in this range 1 to infinity it means that here t goes greater values of 1 that is why f of t can be taken as 2t. So, e power minus st into 2t into dt ok. So, it is enough to evaluate the integration. So, 2 is the constant term integral e power minus st is e power minus st by constant term here we are taking the integration with respect to t that is why minus s is the constant term within the limits 0 to 1 plus here we should apply uv rule 2 is the constant term right outside here according to the eyelet rule this is the algebraic term and this is the exponential term that is why in the order eyelet a becomes first that is why this is u and this is v ok. Do not write 2 inside you can write 2 in the outside of the integration t into what is the integration of v 1 integration of v e power minus st by minus s. I am using the extension by parts formula already explained many times in previous videos ok minus derivative of t derivative of t is 1 integration of e power minus st is e power minus st by minus s already minus s is there that is why you will get plus s square within the limits 0 sorry 1 to infinity 1 to infinity. So, it is enough to apply the limits in the entire parts c. First apply the upper limit here whenever we have t replace it by 1. So, you will get 2 times of e power minus s into 1 e power minus s by minus s is there minus apply the lower limit. If you apply lower limit t is equal to 0 you will get e power 0 e power 0 means 1 anything power 0 is 1 that is why you will get 1 by minus s minus of minus I am writing plus e o because denominator has negative sign that is why plus 2 into apply the upper limit by applying upper limit you will get e power minus infinity whenever you have minus e power minus infinity blindly replace it by 0 because e power minus infinity is 0 this is 0 this is 0 by applying upper limit infinity both parts becomes 0 minus apply the lower limit lower limit is 1 whenever we have t replace it by 1 so you will get 1 into e power minus s by minus s if you are applying lower limit already we have negative sign that is why minus of minus plus e power 
minus s by s. Next, minus into minus plus because we are applying the lower limit. Before applying the lower limit, you should write one negative sign, but already this term has a negative sign. That is why negative of negative is positive. So, e power minus s by s square. So, that is equal to separate the terms. You will get 2 into e power minus minus is there. Denominator has a negative sign. That is why plus 2 by s. Take this 2 to inside. You will get 2 into e power minus s by s plus 2 into e power minus s by s square. We are observing that this term, this term are same but are of opposite signs. This is negative term and this is positive term. That is why both terms gets cancelled. Again in both parts 2 by s is the common term. So, 2 by s take common order 2 by s 1 plus e power minus s by write 1 s here. This is the Laplace transformation of the given function. Once again, this problem is very, very important. Please prepare for end examinations. Thank you very much.